All rise. I want viewers watching my show to believe in themselves. Judge Hatchett is compelling. It's not worth it. She needs to be worthy of you. Compassionate. I don't want you to give up on your dreams. I don't. And I want to figure out how we get this straight. She's powerful. Absolutely not. How dare you do that? And she's on the bench. Both of you all are dead wrong. We will stand adjourned. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. Pat Freeman is suing Lane Brown in the amount of $1,200. Ms. Freeman claims her former friend slandered her at a Christian comedy show and says it cost her multiple gigs. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Hatchett presiding. Here you go, Your Honor. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Well, this is an interesting matter. My goodness. So why are you in here suing her for $1,200? I'm suing her, Your Honor, because she told a terrible joke at a Christian club venue, oh. and she named me, and she called me a harlot. I understand that you all had a relationship in the past. 10 years ago, you all were great friends then, and something went wrong. And I'm gonna give you a chance, but tell me from your perspective what went wrong. Her boyfriend is oh. a lying cheater. Oh my. And what happened Ooh. is I mean, that you I actually you saw you him. You didn't beat around the bush on that one, did she? <laughs> lying <laughs> cheater. I mean, just <laughs> bottom line, I'm a sorry. lying <laughs> cheater. It's the truth. And I told her, but he manipulates her. She believes everything that he says. So how did you know he was a lying cheater? I saw him on a date with another woman. What happened? What happened with his boyfriend? Your Honor, first of all, I am one to admit that I end up in bad relationships, and that was one of all the bad the time. ones. But then, this is supposed to have been my friend. She cheated with the one who broke my heart. I did not cheat with him. <laughs> She That's has a, a habit of oh, wait a minute, with wait other a minute, women wait a men. Oh, I did not. I should have brought my mug of tea out here for this one. <laughs> so this ex-boyfriend, yes. we'll just call him Joe for the okay. purposes. We'll just make up a name. Joe. She says, girl, Joe is cheating on you. Right? And what yeah. did you say? And I said, really, how would you know? But I already got whiff of that she had kissed him. No, he they kissed were me. They were kissing each other. Did you push him away? I didn't have to. His chap lips pushed himself away. That's not what I heard. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Your Honor, I knew he was a cheat, so I decided to set him up. But he liked me too much, and he jumped on me and tried to kiss me. He did. <laughs> and I pushed him away. Mm. She doesn't believe me. He manipulates her. She believes whatever he says. And our friendship blew up over a no good lying cheat. Well, wait a minute. If he is dating your best friend, you went out with him to make the point that he was a cheat? Why were you out with him at all? To prove a point. Because you always and what was the point? somebody else's man. He's a cheater. <laughs> so you set him up. I set him up. Okay, let's I admit be that. I didn't know what else to do. No matter what I would tell her, she always would believe him. So you break up with Joe at some point? Yes, I did, and lost a friend. And you lost a friend. Yes. So now fast forward. Yes. You all reconnect, and you said, let's let bygones be bygones. Yes. yes. Everything is forgiven. Yes. yes. Everybody's cool. And then that is, according to the complaint, that's what led to the invitation for her to come and perform at the comedy club. At the Christian Comedy Club. With the emphasis put on Christian, Christian Comedy Club. Yes, ma'am. So, let me, okay, I was not gonna go back to Joe, but I gotta go back to Joe. <laughs> I gotta go back like to her. Joe. Did you believe that they had a relationship? Well, I believe she was always liking Joe because she's oh. always giving him compliments and I always asking about him. him. Yes, you do. It's like I'm the number six, who she done went after somebody's man. And she That's has a man at home. That's not true. 
And you say she has a man. She has a man at home. And she's going after I other I and I make not number your six. honor. I'm too much for one, but not enough for two. <laughs> I do not cheat. Yes, you do. Uh, no, you I don't. invite her to come and be on this program. I told her the guidelines, no cursing, clean. Mm -hmm. She agreed. But at the end, she tells a joke and ends up calling me a harlot and then says my name. <gasps> the entire audience gasped. Like I just gasped. Coming up on The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. Come on, Lane. What was that about? That was just a joke. You're a comedian, and you're a comedian, you're going to allow me to say anything. Your Honor, I lost work because of that. Closed captioning provided by... The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Pat Freeman, who is suing Lane Brown for slander. They booed me, Your Honor. Oh, when I came out, after she called me a harlot, said my name, they gasped. I come out there, I'm getting nothing but boobs. So, come on, Lane, what happened? Pretend you're back on the stage, and I want you to do exactly what you did that night. I said, you guys know about the story in the Bible about the harlot? You know, Jezebel, who slept with everybody's man in the Bible. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, coming to the stage, you guys, Pat, the comedian. Come on, Lane, what was that about? That was just a joke. You're a comedian, and you're a comedian, you're going to allow me to say anything. Your Honor, I lost work because of that. I lost... I lost gigs. I lost a $1,200 job. You didn't lose because gigs of because that. of me. Anything that I said, I you didn't lose gigs behind. I have a text message, Your Honor. Let me see this. So what happened that night? I mean, after she introduces you as a Jezebel, and here she comes, welcome to the stage. You got booed, and what happened? The room was cold. You know to read the room? Yeah, I They know. hated me. They booed me. If you're a good comedian, you would know how to roll with the show. I mean, out of all the things that you could have said that were funny, why did you introduce her as Jezebel, who slept with everybody's man, and a harlot? I have my facts, and I have also brought with me, I printed out from social media, where somebody did post, it's called Christian Exposed. They don't give their name, but it speaks about her doing the same thing to her. Anonymous, you your honor? To um, their man. And I'm like number six, so that's like number five. She done did it to five different women, including me. And that's a lie. First of all, first of all, that's let me a tell lie. You, let me tell you. First of all, you know, we don't even know who this is. We don't know who this is. We don't know what kind of vendetta they might have. It could have been her, for all I know. No, but the reason why, that was already out before even I even hosted and was the MC for you your find comedy it? show. I lost gigs you because, didn't lose of it because of me. Twelve hundred dollar gigs. All because of that post on social media is the reason why you lost gigs. Which came from your joke. The place wasn't even crowded at where you had your comedy show at. So how did anybody You don't think a hundred people is not crowded? No, it wasn't crowded, I'm sorry. This is what I'm understanding happened as a result of this. Hey, Pat, I'm sorry to do this to you, but I saw what happened at the last show on Instagram, and I can't afford having the backlash of booking you. I hope you understand it's just business. If Pat was so toxic, why did you renew the relationship with her? I was to willing hurt me. to forgive her. I'm a Christian. She's a Christian. I was willing to forgive and forget. But it doesn't sound like you but were willing to forgive and forget. Stuff. Because then you got there and it was like you just did the knife and then you turned it. Twice. But then, Your Honor, she needs to first learn how to talk to people and come at a person. She never does no wrong. So she makes you feel like everything is your fault. Like she's trying to make it feel like the gigs is my fault that she lost. That had nothing to do with me because that was already so that was already circling on social media. That has something to do with the social media and just by the show tipped off the whole thing. So what happened is he said, I saw what happened to you at your last show. That just tipped it off. Your Honor, did you hear when she said about all the other shows that got canceled? All the other shows got canceled because of it's no the storm. social Everyone media. saw what was but on social media. But she said that these got canceled after this, after, after this was posted. That's what after she's and the truth say. is that she's not suing you for all the others. She's only suing you for one. So, I mean, I, you know, the question was, why didn't you sue her for the others? 
because I still have a heart for her. She was a friend. The biggest mistake I made when I saw her in the market by the deli holding bologna, I should have left her there. The biggest mistake I made when I should have listened to my first mind and kept walking. But then I did try to apologize to her. Did she, you? She's such a Christian. I text her. What text. did you say? I text her and I explain to her, I do apologize. I didn't mean any harm that I felt bad that everybody started laughing. It was just part of a joke and not to take it seriously. And I do apologize. But for her to be a Christian, you should have seen. I, I printed it out for you, Yami. You should have seen, seen some of the stuff that she said to me. But if and it you was were such a Christian, nice. why would you put her on blast like that at the comedy show? where you know that this is a gig for her and this is important. First of all, I don't even think it was $1,200. She still haven't showed me proof yet. I think that you didn't let the past be the past. I really don't think you did right. I think in that moment you were like, oh, I'm going to get her, I'm going to get her. There were a uh, hundred other ways that you could have introduced Pat that night, but you chose to go there. And you said, oh, it's just a joke, it's a joke. But it really pull back a whole bunch of mess is what it did. I think that this was wrong and that Pat should not have had to endure that humiliation that night. And for those reasons, I'm entering judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,200. We will stand adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $1,200. I still love you. I still want to be friends with you, Lane. I love you, too. No more jokes. Don't ask me the MC number, either. Party's on.